Hello children, how are you all? Welcome to your channel, always I say this is your channel. So welcome to your channel. So today also I will do factorization of algebraic expression. In our last video, yesterday's video, you have seen the factorization by different types and I, I also used two identities that is one is a plus b whole square and uh, another one is a square minus b square. Okay children. So today you will learn the application of the next identity that is a minus b whole square. By applying this identity how you will factorize that you will learn in this video and after that that is which is very very important that is middle term factorization which is very important and always these types of sums comes in the exam so learn properly watch the full video and understand it okay children so let us start today's our first our first one is a minus b whole square a minus b whole square all of you know that is a square minus 2ab plus b square it is same as a plus b whole square only when a minus b whole square then you will write minus 2ab in a plus b whole square you write a square plus 2ab plus b square here you will write a square minus 2ab plus b square okay now let us do the sum that is one sum i am taking first one that is one minus 6x plus 9x square. I am taking this algebraic expression and uh, you know I told you yesterday also last video the who have not seen they can see my yesterday's video and this I told you that first you will find out a and b okay so our a is this one so i can write one square one square means one only don't do anything here now you give the minus sign now you make your b we know three three is a nine so 3x whole square. Last video I explained why you will say whole square. Why you will give these brackets. If you will not give this bracket, your sum will go totally wrong. Why? That also I have explained. You can see the previous video and you can clear it. Now, here it is 6x. So, we will write minus 2ab. So, 2 into a means 1 into b means, okay, let me write it little here, plus 3x whole square. So, 1, 2 into 1 into our b means 3x, b means 3x. So, into 3x. Now, children, you check. 3 to the 6x minus, so minus 3 to the 6x. So, now we can write this 1 minus b means 3x whole square. This is your answer. Okay, ne let us take the next one. 
that is I am taking 9 y square minus 12 y plus 4. So, same way we will find out first a and b. So, our a is here 3 y whole square. So, this is our a minus plus 4, 4 means what? 2 square, 2 square equals to 4. So, now we will write minus 2ab, this part. So, 2 you write into a means 3y into b, b means 2. So, 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12y minus 12y. So, now you can write what? 3y minus 2 whole square. But this is your factorization sum is over. Okay. Next, let us start the middle term factor or you can say factorization of quadratic trinomials. Factorization of quadratic trinomials. Trinomials means three terms will be given and you have to factorize that. Okay. So, first one I am taking that is x square plus 12x plus 27. So, to first you will do one thing. First you see the last term that is the constant term. What is that? 27. So, 27, when we get 27, which two number if we multiply so that we can get 27, that you will find out. Okay, we can, uh, we know the factors, 2, it is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3, that is 27. Any factors we can't take. We, uh, we will take such a factor that if we pl do plus of these two factors or if we minus these two factors then 12 should come. Here you see 9 plus 3 is 12. So, we will take this one. Why 12? Because in middle there is 12x. That's why this is called middle term factor. Okay, this is middle term, first term, second term, third term. This one is middle term. So, middle term factor. So, middle term factor, how can we split? We can split 3x plus 9x. 3x plus 9 is. Now, if we multiply 3 into 9, we get 27. So, let us do x square plus 9x plus 3x plus 27. You know how to take common. Now, here x square is there. Here x is there. So, you will take common which one? x. 9 is here. But no 9 is there. But no other number is there. So, we will take x as common. So, 2x. x square means 2x. 1x I have taken. So, 1x is there. So, x plus 9 plus here you see 27 is a multiple of 3. So, we will take 3 as a common. 
सो प्लस थ्री सो एक प्लस थ्री नाइन जो ट्वेंटी सेवन सो नाइन नाउ सी दिस टू आर सेम सो वी विल राइट x प्लस नाइन कॉमन आई हैव टेकन नाउ x प्लस थ्री दिस इज योर आंसर ओके चिल्ड्रेन नाउ लेट अस टेक वन मोर एग्जांपल चिल्ड्रेन इफ यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड डेफिनेटली यू टेल मी आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अच्छा नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट वन आई एम टेकिंग वाई स्क्वायर प्लस नाइनटीन वाई प्लस सिक्सटी नाउ सी चिल्ड्रेन सिक्सटी इज देर एंड आवर मिडिल टर्म इज नाइनटीन we have to find out the factors by which we have if we plus add or subtract we have to get 19 here both the sign are plus so such two uh, we will take two digit numbers we will take if we add them then we will get 19 so for if you feel difficulties by finding that which two digit we will select you do can do one thing you know fact how to do factorization you do it just simply like class 4 children you do it in rough definitely in rough so here you see if i take 3 and 4 so what we are getting we are getting 15 and if i take 2 2 into 2 2 to the 4 15 into 4 that is 60 now you add 15 plus 4 what you will get 19 so we can select our numbers this way easily okay so now we will use this y square plus 15y plus what 4y plus 4y plus sixty now we will take common here one y here y square so i told you that the y means y to the power 1 the, the, where the power is less that that one you will take common so you will take y common so from y square i have taken one y so y plus 15 bracket close plus here we will take 4 common then y plus 15 4 15 4 is 60 so you see these two are same always you will take care these two inside the bracket should be equal sign number variable everything should be equal so then we will take the common y plus 15 and uh, i have taken y plus 15 so what is there y plus here 4 but this is your factorization is over middle term factor this is we are splitting the middle term that's why this is called middle term factor okay next p square uh plus 6p 
माइनस सिक्सटीन अ प्लस टू सम्स वी डिड बोथ प्लस प्लस हियर इट इज माइनस सो वॉट यू विल डू फर्स्ट यू विल सिलेक्ट द नंबर सो दैट इफ यू विल डू एडिशन और सब्ट्रैक्शन यू शुड गेट सिक्स ओके सो वी आर डूइंग यू दिस वन फैक्टराइजेशन नो नीड टू डू यू नो टू एट जा सिक्सटीन सो नाउ यू सी एट माइनस टू इफ वी विल डू एट माइनस टू देन ओनली वी कैन गेट सिक्स If we do eight plus two, we can't get six. It will be ten. So you write here this way: p square plus eight p minus two p because six is here. You you have to notice two things. First thing: eight minus two six. then the sign plus so bigger number sign is plus so plus now you write minus 16 next you do you take p common so p plus 8 now minus 2 common inside the bracket p minus minus Plus eight. Okay. Don't do here. P minus eight. No. Minus minus plus. Or you know that before the bracket, if minus is there, thus this sign will change. So it will be plus. This also you can think. You can remember this way also. So next term or next step, you all know now. P plus eight common. Next, p minus two. Okay, children. This way you will solve. Okay, I am showing you one more example to make your concept clear. I am showing you this one, number four. Oh, uh, x square. माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर्टी टू नाउ माइनस इज हियर हियर इट इज प्लस सो हाउ वी विल डू फोर्टी टू इफ यू विल डू फैक्टराइजेशन यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी वन एंड टू Okay, so twenty one and two. When you are getting, you just stop factorize. Stop factorization. You see, twenty one plus two equals to twenty three. Twenty one plus two equals to twenty three. But here minus sign is there. What you will do? Listen carefully. You will do this. X square minus twenty. Sorry, twenty one x minus two x. You all know if both the now sign are minus minus, then what we do plus and. The sign comes minus. So minus twenty one minus two is minus twenty three. Okay, plus forty two equals to. Now again we will take x common. So x minus twenty one minus two common x. Minus plus minus. Don't write plus. Minus plus minus twenty 
one. So next step x minus twenty one. See our these two terms are same. Now x minus two. Okay, children, clear this one. Okay, let us take one more concept. One more sum. That is three x square plus ten x plus eight. Here up to sum number four, only x square, p square, whatever it was there. But now one digit is there. First, you will do what? You will multiply this the eight. And three. Then what will come? Twenty four. Twenty four is coming. So twenty four we will multiply. Then we will get two digit. Then we will do addition on or subtraction to get this ten. We all know twenty when twenty twenty four come. Six four zero, six plus four ten. So we will do that. See three x square plus six x plus four x plus eight. Now we will take common three x three two zero six. So three x. So x plus two already x I have taken only three two za three two za six plus here no x only eight so we will take four common x plus four two za eight now x plus two and three x. Plus four. Clear this one. This concept is clear, I think. Okay, let us do one more. That is number six. Six p square plus eleven p minus ten. So ten six a sixty, and if we do addition um, uh, factorization, we will get. We know fifteen four a sixty, fifteen four a sixty, and fifteen minus four is what eleven. But here it is plus. So children, see carefully. Watch carefully. Here, six p square plus fifteen p minus four p minus ten. Okay. Why I did this? Plus five plus fifteen minus four, so that is eleven. Bigger number sign is plus, so plus. That's why you will write the bigger number first. Don't write like this. Plus four p minus fifteen p. Then your sum will go wrong. Why? Fifteen minus four, eleven. But bigger number sign is minus, but it is plus. It is not matching, so you can't write this way. So first you write the bigger one, then smaller one. Now you take three p. <clears throat> three two is a six two p plus. Three five is a 
15 a pito already we have i have taken now minus e will take two common and here two twos are four so two p minus minus plus two fives are ten so that is two p plus five and 3p minus 2. I hope all of you understood children. If still you have any problem with any sum, any middle term factor, you can write in the comment box. I will clear your doubt. I will do that sum for you. Okay children. So let you practice properly so that you will be the master of this factorization so this much for today so bye bye